Hey what's up guys it's Dan and be here and in this video I'm gonna be blowing up all of the builds I did on my single player world and then also at the end I'm gonna show you how you can uh, install this world so that you can play on a 2 and then explore everything and then maybe blow it up if you want I don't know so yeah if you want to skip to that just go to this time and yeah that's gonna be where I show you how to download it Okay, so I think the first thing that I'm gonna blow up is this bridge which connects home and Isle to this Wiltshire farm. I think it's called. I'm not sure though, but yeah. This was like one of the best builds I did. Like, it looks the nicest. I really like how it turned out. So I've got a bunch of C4 on me. Well, charges, I guess. And I'm just gonna place them around different places. I can't place more than 8 down though, which may be a uh, problem. I think first I'm gonna blow up these towers actually. Okay, so I've got my charges hooked up, and I'm gonna explode them now. Oh, well, only one, one got destroyed, hmm. I guess I should probably damage these first, maybe? Uh, yeah, that would probably be a, a good idea. <laughs> Actually, what if I went down here and changed the uh, structure armor multiplier to like 100? Or this number, actually. Wait, I don't think you can go that high, I'll charge it like 255, five. yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's see if it can be- oh, yeah, floors can be one-shotted by a dragon fang, hell yeah. Okay, now this is gonna be a whole lot easier to destroy. Okay, so I've got my second lot of charges placed, I'll just hook them up, and then we can explode it. Okay, so that was a lot of explosions, but I think there may be a way to blow up the bridge even faster. Okay, so I went into the game files and I changed the chart so that it has a range of 255 meters, so let's just... Oh, wait, no, that's the placing range. Oh, shit, there's two different ranges in that file for some reason. And uh, now both of them are at 255. So let's place down one charge and it should blow up this whole bridge. Let me just hook it up, there we go. Now I gotta run away uh, so I don't get blown up. Okay, uh, we should probably hide behind the tree. Protect me, haha. -ha. Okay, so are you ready? Let's blow it up. Okay, so we're back. I, um, well, last time I tried to record this, my computer just kind of, kind of crashed. Um, it, yeah, uh, so I'm just gonna turn down my, my, uh, graphic settings. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, Unturn looks great. This is the new, uh, graphics update. And yeah, let's get right into the update video. Woo! Okay, so are you ready? Let's blow it up. Holy shit, it's almost all gone now. Oh, that's left is some flying pillars in um, almost all of the um, barricades. It kind of sucks to see the bridge like this, but you know, I have a backup, so it doesn't matter. So next up, I think I'm going to blow up the blimp. Now it already has some charges inside it, actually. I forgot I placed those there. So uh, I guess we can just blow those up um, I think I'm just gonna blow up one for now if we need more later we can just place them. and also I reduced the range on the uh, like explosions so it won't damage this area hopefully probably actually it may damage it a bit but uh, whatever all right let's run away a bit and explode it Oh, 
Okay, so the blimp is almost entirely gone. All that's left is like three pillars. Well, actually four. Fuck, I'm so bad at math. And yeah, there's just two pairs of doors and some charges. Uh, so I, I'd say this blimp won't be flying anywhere anytime soon. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna blow up is the airport that I recently built. And uh, I also modified the charges again, so now they have uh, 255 range again, and also they do 6500 damage to both barricades and structures. Okay, so I'm gonna run away a bit, and yeah, I'm gonna blow it up. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the airport got destroyed with only with only three charges. Um, rest in peace, airport, I guess. Some of the cars actually seem to still be floating for some weird reason. We should probably maybe fix that. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, they're starting to blow up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there was no airport here. What are you talking about? I, I didn't see an airport here. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can download this world, so you can come on here and explore a bit, or you could just blow everything up, just like me. Yeah, either is fine. So yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click the link in the description below, and you're going to be directed to this page. So you just want to click download, and then it should download this zip file. Now once you open it, there should be a folder called PI in there, and now you're gonna have to put this into your unturned files. So, when you go to your unturned files, scroll down until you see the worlds folder. Now once you're in the worlds folder, you have all these folders to choose from. Now these are all of your uh, unturned characters. So basically, the single player 0 folder is this character, single player 1 is this character, single player 2 is this character, single player 3 is this one, and the last one, single player 4, is this one. So uh, choose a character you want to have this world on, and just open up the folder for that character, then go into level, and then uh, delete the PI folder, and then go back to your zip file, and then drag the PI folder into here. And now, once you go in game, you should have that world on your character. Okay, so that's it for the video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and download the world if you want. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.